All right. So what is this? Game four? Right. Yeah. We got one win and the Heat gets two wins. So we cannot let them win this one. So we can tie it up at two. And we we'll have, what, four? What the freak? Three more games? Yeah, three more games after this. Let's see who gets the victory of the NBA Finals. So let's do this. Come on. At our house, we can't let the Heat come here and beat us. We must defeat the Heat. What's kind of bad is they got Dwayne Wade hurt and we're struggling with him. <laughs> Jeez, NBA 2K15 is coming out. Coming out um, Tuesday, and I need to get this thing done. All right, let's do this. see a game five but will we see game six that's the question Hi again everyone this is Kevin all right let's go not taking a jump ball this time our starting lineup to look at the matchups here and I lost it god dang it guys what do you think we'll be seeing from money in this one Jesus Shane Battier just couldn't keep his hands off me Heart, you know, the sacrifices he makes for his team, playing through injury, through fatigue, it's been well documented. I mean, this is one of the toughest players on this club. And he oh, come on. Steve, a lot of times we see players get down on themselves. Did you really have to take that shot? But with him, usually the opposite is the case, and he starts oh. playing with wow. When adversity strikes. Take a look at the Warriors. No doubt this is a crucial game for them. Looking to even the series tonight on their home court. Well, they're still in decent shape. Boom. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, if they can win this one, tie up the series, now all of a sudden you've got some momentum on your side. Well, it would make for a fantastic conclusion to this series if they could win these next two. It would really be set up for a dramatic game six. And ah, man. Of course, he drains the three. Come on. You gotta cover that perimeter. Oh my god. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. LeBron against Igudala. The drive by James lays it in without an inch. Man, I can't cover the freaking perimeter and underneath. Many finishing moves he has in his bag of shot making. Curry kicks to Thompson. Pass to Money. Why are you? Lee dishes to Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. The shot's good for Money. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. Well, he would have gone two or three here to start out the game. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, thank you. I caught up with Eric Spolstra. He told me that when you're in a position like this in the finals, you have to capitalize on it. He said if we can... Yes. All right. Good. ...two chances to finish it off at home. And in that situation, he likes their odds a lot. Guys? All right, Doris. And it's sent back by Odin. And he recovers it. Outside for Curry. Shot clock at six. Second shot opportunity. That's good. Oh, good. Curry's got his first two points. Sorry, he's going to miss that. Try to get in position to rebound it, but he made it. Which is good. All good. Phillips passes to LeBron. In to Greg Oden. Good in the assist. Ah. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. To the paint. Oh, come on. Makes it out to Iguodala. Yes. Nice. Now we're up by two. An even score. That's good. Especially from long range. Phillips dishes to Battier. Right side. Get out of my way! 
So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. This is his first free throw of the game. Nice. It's a good miss. Good miss. And he sinks the second. Here's Curry. To the left side wing. Here's Money. He's guarded by Battier. Here's Money, and it's Golden State. Boom. Way more stronger than you, Shane Battier. And as him kicks to LeBron. It's stolen by Bogut. Right side crew. Allen against Thompson. Here's money. Oh, man, I missed a jumper. I can't believe it. But that was a good offensive rebound by Bogut. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue to go to the well. Now here's Phillips. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And Thompson sends it. Oh, nice. Iguodala left side. Wide open. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together. And they're just looking for the best shot they can in every possession. Good. We still got our five-point lead. Billups passes to Vernado. Back to Billups. Chalmers against Thompson. Billups from outside. Offensive rebound, Heat. Iguodala against Jones. Back to Anderson. Outside, Billups. Miami, no good. Nice. That's one he knows he should have made. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. We got Chauncey Billups. Jones is out there with Jarvis for not. Then there's Chalmers. And it's Anderson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And oh! These players can flat out shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three point shooters in the playoffs. Andre Iguodala, third. He's having so much success from the three point line in the playoffs. Just seems like he's thriving under pressure. Ray Allen has checked in for Mario Chalmers. Ah! good and the warrior lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Allen. Well Allen is the all-time leader in three-pointers made past Reggie Miller a couple years ago so obviously you have to worry about him out there but what makes Allen so good is that he can also put the ball on the floor get into the paint and score at that mid-range area as well and he really there we go for those corners. I mean, you just made up for that last miss jumper there. You've got to stay connected to him. And Steve, just like you when you shot, you had a favorite spot on the floor when you played. His favorite spot seems to be that three from the corner. Yeah. Here's Allen after the made shot from Mike. Jones with it. Picked up by Thompson. And he gets it to go. Good job creating an easy bucket there. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're looking to build on Monday's big win. Yeah, they played with so much confidence, guys, especially in the second half. I thought it was a case of them really knowing what they had to do and then going out there and doing it without making many mistakes. Here's Billups after the main shot by David Lee. Jones, that's for two. Misses off the right iron. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds thus far. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game eventually. Here's Money. Eight points for him. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Ah, this freaks on me. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, he left him no choice but to foul there. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Greg Oden, he's checked in for Miami. Hattier comes in for James Jones. Well, as far as the league's big men go, he's one of the very best at the foul line. Phillips with a screen for Allen. Out to Battier. Back to Allen. He feeds it to Billups. Allen outside. Six to shoot. 
punt it from 12. Allen's got eight. The defense playing way too soft there, guys. He's just getting right to the rim. Curry hits the lead. That's good. There we go. It look easy scoring out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. The Heat trail by six. All right, old Chauncey. See what you got. Kicks to Odin. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Odin's got his second bucket of the night. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. And that one's good. 12 points for money. You know, he started out hot, and he's only gotten hotter. He, he could be in for one of those games. Phillips goes in. The dish to Anderson. Curry with the steal. Nice pass. Chauncey. Thompson outside. That drops. And it's an eight-point Warrior lead. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Timeout called the Heat. We've seen Money really having a great game. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. And a new group getting ready for Miami. 149 left in the second quarter. James in the post puts up the baby hook. Off the oh yeah! The Stop today, the king. Or the queen. Every one of those rebounds. I think that's what's put them in front here. And now Doris Burke has an update on the sidelines. Well, guys, I was able to listen in on what Eric Spolster was going over with his team in that last huddle. He said their plan was run their offense through Allen. Coach reminded them that he is supposed to be the key factor tonight, and he still wants to see that happen. Another uh. area he brought up was the importance of their defense against the transition game. He needs his team to get back. Pass it to me. I have a point guard on me. Guys, they're clearly hoping those changes have an effect even before this game makes it to halftime. Kevin? Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. And it's the Heat with the ball. Following the miss by Elton Grant. And here is Odin. Cole dishes to Allen. Has to Odin. Just find the shoot. That's good. Odin's got his third bucket of the night. Gotta love the use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed. And Nedovic gets to Brand. Pass to Nedovic. Here's Money. Ah! Dang it. Even though he missed it, he couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, that's an easy jump shot. You gotta take that one. Six second difference between shot and game point. LeBron passes to Allen. Free throw line jump shot. That is good. Allen's got seven now in this quarter. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Now the pass to Money from 15 feet away. That's good on the There we go. And the Warriors lead by eight. Tough assignment for that defender with the size mismatch we're seeing. Yeah, I, I just don't think he's big enough to, to handle it. And so we wrap up the first half. I don't think Lebron even got a point that half. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Been pretty non-existent so far in this game. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And welcome back to our presentation of the NBA Finals as we get going again. What a game we're seeing from Money. Yeah, in a game this important, we knew his contributions were going to be critical for this team. And I thought he really delivered in the first half. And here in the second, the stakes are raised even higher. So he's going to have to continue to give him someone to lean on here. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gator. Can't believe Greg Oden made it out for all of us. And Golden State looking at who they've got. On the wing, Thompson and Iguodala. David Lee is out there with money, and it's Curry in at the point guard position. Here's Lee. Craig Oden picking up that last basket. Lee passes to money. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. His shooting has been off the charts. Oden, a screen on Iguodala. And there's the whistle. Nice. Nice call. Pushing our player down, Greg out and that one rolling our court, son. Leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. 
and of course money. I'll tell you what, whether it's been attacking off the dribble or pulling up, both of these guys have really been lighting it up in the playoffs. Oh, really, man? And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Terrific play right there. Great strength. Jeez, Stefan, that was horrible. The bump and the bucket. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Now, here's Curry. Passes it to Money. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. He kicks it to Lee. What the freak? I passed to Andre Iguodala. Come on. That's good. Passing's horrible in this game. Just three in the basket from LeBron. And they made three of their first four shots here to start the I held the right analog stick to the right, and he freaking passed it to the left. Jackson was going over with his team. He talked about their post game, saying, we've got this defense stretched out, and if we can make yeah. solid entry passes into the low block, the points will come. He also wanted them to know they should be working together to get their outside shooters open. He said, you know what plays we have to run to get guys free. Now let's run them. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. And thank you, Doris. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. No question. Count it into the painted area and continue to put pressure on that defense. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to a point with the bucket from Battier. Warriors have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Curry dishes to lead. Down low. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Just a, an amazing game for money. I missed that. Seriously. And he's making this his personal. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's his world. He's doing whatever he wants. No, that was my on me that time. Anthony's checked in for Odin. Haslam comes in for Shane Batty. And it's Chalmers in for Ray Allen. Tough call there and a tough break for the defense. But you know, I think you could still see him kind of sliding in there. I don't have a problem with the call. Andrew Bogut, he's checked in for Golden State. Now here is Haslam. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Four on the shot clock. A three from Chalmers. Rebounded by Money. Money's got his third rebound on the night. Dishes it to Bogut. James with the block. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Curry with it. Now defended by Chalmers. Curry passes it to Money. Igudala up top. Lock at six. Here's Money. Makes it off the glass. Money's got six here in this quarter. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. Chalmers with it. Eight points for him. Feeds to Aslam. It's stolen by Curry. And Thompson kicks to Iguodala. From 13, and there are the Warriors. There we go. Just over it's like there every time we face the heat we get a, on a good streak and then they get on a streak now here's Chalmers. there's the dish to Anthony from deep Phillips the Warriors pull it in money's got his fourth rebound in this one Curry with it now guarded by Haslam Curry gets the bucket and the Warriors lead by seven. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. That's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. And Miami making a change here. Here's Cole. He's covered by Miles. And Bernardo kicks to Anderson. And it's going to be two free throws. All right, this guy shot. can shoot Anderson foul Williams shots like crap. Possibly because he flies above the rim all the time. He's got a huge wingspan, great reach, leaping Fish ability. Fish, screw yourself. <laughs> a lot of shots down there. 
Birdman has always been great at defense, and as he keeps adding years in the league, you know, it's, it's an ability of his that has never diminished. Now, here's Curry. He dishes it to Azili. Back to Curry. Here's Azili. He's covered by Anderson. Money. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly. Oh, come on. Nothing to argue about there. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Warriors. Anytime they've had a chance to attack the lane, they've done so. The penetration has been impressive. It's been a hot shooting night for them, too. I mean, they've hit a lot of those mid-range jump shots. And Miami making a change here. Odin's checked in. Now, here's Chalmers. He's got eight. A little confusion defensively. Yeah, you know what? He sent the D a little message with that three. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Heat was simply terrific. He ended with 25 points and played some lockdown defense as well, causing havoc on both ends of the floor. Absolutely amazing numbers from him in what was truly a memorable performance for him and for us, Kevin. Appreciate it, Doris. Thanks. Well, we've seen a lot of great players have a lot of great games, but that, that Clark was something special. Kevin, it really was. I mean, they threw everything but the kitchen sink at him, and nothing <laughs> slowed him down. But let's just say he was really good. It just seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. It's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Now here's LeBron. He's got six. The feed now to Vernon. Blocked. With two seconds left, misses there. And as we end the third quarter, all right, up by five, good lead, going in the fourth quarter. And do not go away, as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Game five. Back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Really excellent feed here. And I know we're used to seeing this guy score, but he is no slouch at creating passes and opportunities for his teammates. And he showcases that skill right here on that replay. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. Hey, Allen and LeBron fill out the wings. Shane Battier is out there with his. And it's Phillips in at the one spot. Phillips off the victim has pocket six. He feeds it to Phillips. With some arc, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. They've led by as much as 10. Iguodala's drive outside curve. Pass to Money. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That's on LeBron James. That's good for money. Nice. There we go. Hopefully I can get my free throw percentage back up here. Well, never mind. <laughs> of course, I miss it. Oh, God. Back to James. Now, about a minute play here in the fourth quarter. Phillips dishes to Haslam. Cuts it five from 18. And ah. gets it to go. Warriors leading by four. Curry passes to Lee. Back to Curry. Here's Money. He's guarded by Billups. Shoots. No, I missed that. I missed my post shot. No. really has to be mindful of not giving him that kind of space to operate. LeBron kicks to Hazard. Outside Billups. Allen for three. The basket goes ah. assist from Billups. Billups has got four assists now tonight. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Mark. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thank you, Kevin. Mark Jackson had some words for his team over that break. The game's still in question. There we go. 
Awesome shot by David Lee. But we need to get this lead up a little bit more because I'm a little uncomfortable with a lead of three. Uh oh. That's blocked. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Curry dishes to Thompson. Inside. Poked away. Ah. Allen with it. He's picked up by Lee. Allen passes to Batty. Allen kicks to Billups. Batty A sets the pick for Billups. It's tipped. There's the pass to Money. Golden State moving it around. Yes. There we go. Awesome. Awesome layup by Steph. It's a great formula. It's really a sign that the offense is clicking. Haslam wishes to James. And that one goes long. That's not a sight you see very often. He has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Uh-oh. And here comes Phillips leading the fast break. Haslam, that's good. We could have been looking at a two-possession game, but that was a huge mistake on the turnover. Now nerves and tightness become a factor. Well, it's become a battle of wills, Clark. This is as good a game as we could have hoped for. Good. These defenders look Boom. Okay, come on. Let's keep this lead. We need to make the series go two to two. Come on. Let's do it. Don't let LeBron get under the basket so he can get an easy shot. Now, and I... Man... I thought LeBron was going to run in, but he freaking got the assist. God dang it. Curry with it. Picked up by Battier. Come on. Thompson against Allen. And Clay Thompson. Yeah. Nice moves. This is the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. I guess the good news is they've taken away the outside shot. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they're going to allow inside looks as easy as that. I think Doris Burke. Ah, man, I screwed that up. Thank you, Kevin. Mark Jackson had some words for his team over that break. He went over the offensive plan and that it hinges on running through Curry. Coach's words in the huddle were this. He's our decision maker and we need to get him more touches if things are going to yeah. be as possible. He said also that their offense needs to be a patient one. He told them, don't rush things. Use as much of that shot clock as you need to. Gentlemen, some late game adjustments that could prove crucial in the game's closing moments. Kevin, over to you. Thank you, Doris. Here's LeBron after the made shot from Andre Iguodala. It's LeBron with the drive. Oh, he missed. Nice. It's far too tentative in the paint. And even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. Here's Money defended by Allen. Money again in Golden State. Wow, such a steady hand. He's the one responsible for getting them this late lead. Can't argue with that at all, Steve. His shooting percentage has been off the charts. In this quarter, he's really been off the mark. He just looks a little bit unsettled. All right. Iguodala kicks to Lee. Back to Iguodala. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. All right, let's make these dry and move on to game five. He has nine points and one steal. He hits the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a nine-point ball game. Here. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Billups. He's such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. This game looks like they've. Are you kidding me? You're exactly right. I mean, take care of the ball, work the clock. It's a wrap. Yep, nice game. Well, no defense. He didn't really need to do the double pump. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he commits the intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. He gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit.
27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Battier. Offensive rebound heat. The Warriors have gone 6 of 8 from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. LeBron against Curry. Ooh, there we go. Another good win. So we see the Warriors get the win here. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. Yes, Kevin, thank you. I'm with Tied it up. All right, good. Whew. I think we got one more home game, and then we get to go back to Miami. All right, you guys are all tied up at two games now, making this series a best of three to determine the NBA champion. How do you see your odds of winning it all at this stage? I ain't no odds maker, man. I, I don't really get your question, truthfully. Uh, are you trying to ask in some roundabout way if I think we're gonna win or not? If you are, of course I do. Why would I think anything else? Maybe if we were down 3-0, I'd be up here singing a different tune, but it's 2-2. Two, two. That means it's anyone's game. And I like the view where we sitting. Mm. Hey, what's up? What are you here for, man? You did it, man. What's up? Your old signature shoes. What? Woo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> nice. That's exactly what I thought you were going to say when I saw you standing there, bro. Hey, look, man, pretty soon, kids around the world going to be wearing your shoes, bro. This is awesome. Yo, I, I've been waiting for this day since I was, like, a little youngin', dude. Hey, man, look. Let's go celebrate, my brother. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, the T-Rocks. Right this freaking sneakers. Yeah. Uh, what the heck's this? I'm Tinker Hatfield, VP of Special Projects and Creative Design for Nike. Welcome inside the Innovation Kitchen. Uh, this will go with uh, let's go with low. Probably won't like the shoe I made, but Everything there? Yep. Okay.
Hmm, let me see here. Other freaking oh caller okay. I guess that wanna work. work all right well those are my shoes there i don't know what you guys think do they look all right <laughs> all right well those are my save this shoe what oh brand logo Okay, how do I do that? Let's do it in the front. T Rock. I don't know. I can't think of a good name right now. Uh, how about Hard T-Rock? Hard Rock. Is there something like that? I don't know. Hard T-Rock or something. my shoes yeah all right good stuff